Hey Rosebuds, welcome back to my channel and today we have, which you can't see so much so I'm gonna try to be careful, um, I got two uh, cuties, I got some ketchup, I got sunny side up eggs on rice cake, rice cake, yeah, rice cake, let's see, hold on, I don't want it to slide, while I show y'all. Ooh. See. This one got a perfect egg. So I'm sitting here in a different I mean you guys see me in this location before. Other room. Um I still have so much to do. Oh my gosh. And then I have my Herbalife tea. This is um, raspberry uh, tea concentrate with um, collagen beauty booster. Um, but happy March, you guys. Y'all see my vision board behind me? Um, happy March. Um, I haven't gotten my new results for February, but I don't think I did that well, but I know I got results. So, I'm still very, very proud of myself for even getting some sort of results. Like, I mean, my skin is still, you know, but I've been taking care of it a lot more. Um, these are just scabs that need to come off because I've been picking, but <laughs> yeah, y'all know. Who watches those type of videos, by the way? Extracting. Extraction videos. Comment down below if you watch that. So. Just because I got two packets, I'm going to have to evenly distribute. Mmm. See that end? Starting to run. But yeah, you guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post. I know, I know, I know for my day ones. I'm sorry. I haven't been on it. There's just so much to do in this room. I'm not even done. And to be honest, like when my man comes in here, he says it looks like I don't I didn't even touch anything, but I have. I've been throwing out stuff. It's crazy. Don't get me wrong. I ain't no hoarder or anything like that. It's not about that. It's just, um, I have stuff. Like, my books. Yeah, basically my books. Like, they need to be on a shelf. And I got them, I got everywhere on the table. I actually have a, a, a closet, like my coat closet. That I have books in there too. And then I got all my movies, my DVDs, and VHSs. So I want to organize all that so that... And I have two TVs in here. I don't even know if I'm going to keep both of them. But to him, he thinks it's a good idea to keep both of them. <laughs> Maybe when he's here... Well, I don't even watch TV, so... When he's here, he'll watch news or anime on one and then play his games on the other. Kind of what he has at home.
Yo. So, <clears throat> Instagram has blocked me because I've been doing my, my Herbalife invitations through there. And I guess um, I wasn't adding people. I think because I was deleting a lot of people and I was sending out invitations, you know, to my Herbalife business, you know, just reaching out to every single person that, you know, I've been in contact with social media um I guess I was doing it too fast I don't know I have no idea but I'm locked out of my Instagram meaning I'm able to post um in my insta stories which I'm always active on that so if you guys follow me there um and if you don't go ahead and follow me there um Guys, all the links are down below. My Herbalife website. Coldest Water. My Instagrams, both of them. Which, for Mary Rose TV, I've been thinking about doing something different with that page. I don't know yet. And then I even started TikTok, you guys, but I barely got any videos in there. And I have barely been inviting people there, too. I got one video. It's not easy when you got a 40 hour job. It is not easy at all. And then to be going to the gym right after. Like, I don't know how some people really do it. Honestly, I don't even think, any, I don't know anybody that does it. Not like me, to be honest. A lot of people who work a 40-hour job, goes to work, and most of the bullshit <laughs> is done at work. Like, I work at work, too, you know, during my downtime and all that. But it's not easy when you got customer after customer after customer coming to you. And, you know, your intentions for that job is to do their work, not your side work. And I get that. But anyways, a lot of people I know do their BS at work. And... So by the time that they get home, they're able to, if they do go to the gym, then they go to the gym. Or they hang out with their family, you know, some of them, most of them have kids. And I do get that. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, and they get their rest. Me. I'm the type of person to have a, a lot of ideas. And like sometimes I just don't pull through even though I know they're great ideas. And I'll like, I'll do some of it. I'm an Aries. I do, I start it and then I won't finish it. Or I won't finish it in a timely manner. Um, Like everybody else, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna try to go. But, can't knock myself because I have been achieving a lot of goals, a lot of personal goals. We're not gonna quite get into all that, but. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going back to the gym. Push myself a little bit more harder for this month my birthday is in April it's coming up so I just want to like I've been telling y'all feel much much more healthier than I've ever felt before which I already do but ain't nothing wrong 
with feeling much, much, much more healthier than you already do. I love this. So anyways, bobbing, but to go home, I mean, to go to work, then to go to the gym, mind you, I don't drive, I walk, I take the bus, and then to come home, still got to prep my meal prep my stuff for the next day, shower, I don't go no night without showering. I just learned, like, a couple of months back, but to not wash my hair every day. Thing is that, this place that I work at is so dirty, like, I really want to wash my hair, but, I mean, I washed my hair yesterday, I didn't, I'm not washing it today, I'm not going to wash it again tomorrow, um... No, no, no. I didn't. I washed my hair yesterday, right? I'm not going to wash it today. And then I have work tomorrow. So, and then the gym. So, after the gym, I come home and I'm going to shower. I'm going to wash my hair. My skin and my scalp and my hair is a mixture of dry and oily. Um, when my hair's like this, that's when I'm most happy. And by the way, I cut it. I cut it a lot. I cut like two inches off. Um, after all that, your girl just wants to lay down, drink her water, Watch a couple of shows on YouTube and knock out or some politics. Get your vitamin C up. Yes, I have been following the Democratic primary runs on YouTube and the specific person. And don't come for me in my videos about who I like and who I want to become. Who, you know, who I want to run for the Democrat Party to go against Trump um, is Bernie Sanders. It's all over my Instagram uh, stories. I show y'all, you know, his policies and all that. Anyways, every single policy that he has will have a great effect in my life. I agree with everything he says. Throughout high school, I did so many papers on Martin Luther King and, you know, everything in that era, which was not long ago. But yeah, like, I'm just so fascinated by those movements and he speaks to me, okay? You may not agree and that's okay. This is not, I'm not here for an argument, I'm not here to honestly hear your opinions because I'm not going specific you know with my opinions because I probably won't be talking about this again in any of my other videos but I'm just saying that you guys pay attention if you guys are following um this presidential run you know for the democrats and you're like all right I don't like any of them because blah, 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 or I just want Trump to win, blah, 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 something like that, right? And you have your reasons. I'm sure you do. 
but like really 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 like really 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 do your research I'm not kidding when it comes to that. Don't listen to what the TV is telling you. Like, for example, I'm not going into detail right now as to why you should um, vote for Bernie. But, yeah, vote for Bernie, you guys, because a lot of us can very, like, relate. Especially, like I said, I work a 40-hour job. If you're a middle-class person, middle-class working person in this country, um, he is going to be your best bet. But, yeah, that's my opinion. And that's my only opinion. But, um, like I said, it's not up for debate. I'm not here to argue with anybody or listen to anybody's opinions for that matter because it's a video. I can't talk to you unless you put it in the comments. But, um, to be honest, like, if it's anything negative, y'all, I'm not going to read it. I'm, I'm already, I'm very well aware about what's, what social media does, you know. How people use social media and for the most part they use it for negativity and I'm not about that I am NOT about that life at all I'm all about improving at my pace you know and if this this you know president that I, this person that I want to become president I feel is gonna make my life a lot more you know great you know that's what it is but yeah um, point is, do your research, stop watching what other people's opinions are about certain people, um, you know, like, really do your research, so, for example, like, go ahead and watch, for example, Bernie, um, all, a lot of Bernie's, uh, speeches, it he's been basically talking about the same thing for years and then go ahead and do your research on the other candidates such as biden right or um bloomberg you know you're gonna see that they lie a lot and it's like or or the policies that have went through and how it has ha affected maybe you or how it has affected you know people in your family um and that is something that you probably don't want happening to your kids that you have right now or your future kids like for example i don't have kids yet but i definitely don't want my kids or my nieces and nephews that are already born um to be living in our so-called future if it continues to be what it is what's happening right now so anyways, yeah, um, enough on that, I've been watching a little bit about that, watching YouTube, and then, and that's it, I, um, you know, like, mukbangs and extractions and stuff like that, um, and that's it, I just want to knock out, I don't have time to, like, pick up something to clean or whatever, like, my room is basically clean already um like my floors are clean it's just about organizing a whole bunch of stuff but and painting I gotta paint too after a full day of activities who wants to pick up a roller when your back is already hurting anyways comment below if you guys like this um set up here i like the way the sun is hitting only because i'm actually sitting on my bed and my bed is on the floor and this is my wall um but when i sit on the table which i have my actual mukbang table on top of the table um i have stuff on the table which are my books and the other tv so it's blocking this type of light um, that's coming to me right now like you would see a shadow which I think you can tell by the other videos that I've had like you'll see the my white background and then you'll see the reflection from the window <laughs> yeah I'm pointing it out there because it's the truth I don't care um, but halfway down 
all you see is like shadow which is the TV but I like this um I like this lighting um despite of the background like I mean those are my goals those are my friends up there people I have uh um do Herbalife with So like, you know, whenever my friends come over or my boyfriend comes over, like they get to see this, my, my vision board, you know, and the stuff that I basically working on. It inspires them. It inspires me too. But yeah, you guys, thank you for, um, a hundred subscribers. Um, I know I haven't been posting that much, but, you know, here's a video of me thank you guys, thanking you guys for subscribing and watching my videos, and definitely comment below what would you like for me to eat. Um, I know I shouldn't be eating bad things or excessive of anything like a lot of stuff so like I had three I had three of these rice cakes with egg I got one more um I don't think I'm gonna eat it my mom is coming home soon so I'm planning on giving it to her I'm gonna eat another orange planning on giving it to her um i'm gonna head out today is my free day and um i gotta go to this is so good you guys it's has it oh it's ice chunks okay i thought it wasn't dissolved all the way um, my Herbalife products, like the tea and the, I need, most of the stuff is powder, um, unless you're taking the vitamins, but drink-wise, um, everything is like powder, so they dissolve pretty quick, which is great, because you can shake, 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 stir, 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 and good to go, so which is why I'm like, huh, like why is it not shaking all the way, why isn't, why is the powder still in there? But it's there's no powder. It's just the um the ice. But um yeah, I gotta go to Walgreens. I you guys, if you download the Walgreens app and you get their emails, um almost every month they give away on the app. You do it through the app, right? Um. An eight by ten uh, picture, so like you can you can save whatever picture you'd like, and then um, that you want printed, right? Uh, and then they'll give you a free code. You know, all you gotta do is pick it up, and you'll get your free eight by ten picture. It's one picture, and it's like almost every month they've been giving out a free code. Um, so anyways, I did one about two weeks ago, and here's the thing, I'm not sure if it's uh, same free same-day pickup now, because I ordered it two weeks ago, I'm not sure if I have to pay for this picture. Um, if it's like 10 cents for this picture, then I'll pay for it. If it's still free, of course, I'm going to, like, I plan on picking it up today. I just didn't, like I told you, I haven't had the time, so... Now I'm going to head over there today. Um, I also want to go down there because I love shopping at the Asian markets. Let me tell you, I shopped, I got five minutes left, you guys, but um, I shopped at Stop and Shop for the past two weeks. And I don't know, I've just been craving like rotisserie chicken and salad, right? And I bought like a few other things like eggs and um brown rice so i would buy like uh like two or three rotisserie chickens 
and I'd be spending like $60. Now, Stop and Shop is right by my job, so I had no choice because I had shit, I, I had stuff to get done. But you know what? I need to, that is my old ways. I really need to get back to my new ways when I, you know, I love to save money. I was couponing and all that stuff, and I was not couponing with the $60 order. I stop and shop. Because I be buying specific things, and I don't have no coupons for it. And I could literally go to the Chino store, um, and... You know, buy my chicken and well, eggs or whatever, right from there. And oh yeah, you guys, before I before I go, um, I am so proud of us. We are, you know, it started already. We're in March, um, where we're not going to be using any plastic bags anymore. So, ha ha. I'm happy about that. Um, why? You guys, let's just stop being greedy. And be like, you know, and stop going to the store and be like, Oh, you ain't got no bags? You ain't got no bags? No, we don't. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. You have a shopping cart at home. I know you have... Um, uh, recycling bags at home that you have bought from the Dollar Tree and if you haven't go ahead and buy it buy you a couple because that's how it's going to be otherwise you're going to be spending five cents for brown paper bags which I don't think is bad at all five cents really like y'all complain about five cents and you guys been out there buying you know these designer clothes and stuff like that but you can't spend five cents on a grocery bag a brown paper grocery bag come on guys get it get it together get it just get it together and if you don't want the brown paper bags because you don't like them for some reason bring your shopping carts bring your um dollar tree bags bring your book bags Ain't nothing wrong with that when you go shopping. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And most likely, um, they, you know, you know how, like, most of us put our garbage in plastic bags? I'm sure in time, they're going to tell us a different way to throw out our garbage pretty soon. Because they can't process plastic bags anymore like that. It's not good. For our earth, think about your children and how they're going to be living in the future. Our planet has gone worse. My entire, you know, 30 years that I've been here, I've seen it go down. Um, you know, everything that's been going on in, in the news, for example, like Australia. Like, can you imagine if every single state and every single country was going through that problem? You don't want to even imagine it. So let's take care of it. Let's stop complaining about these plastic bags. Let's be grateful. Let's be great, you guys. Anyways, this is my last bite of my orange. I have two more pieces. And I got a whole thing right here. Bye, you guys.